The black number five machine now has about a seven car length. Hats wave in the air for Pato Award. Nine laps, pressure tires for Pato Award as they roar back into turn number one. And he streaks away from Marcus Erickson and now Rosenquist is under attack. Here comes Joseph Newgarden, swinging to the outside of that shell car. Newgarden moves the third line and it looks like Rosenquist just tagged the wall, Michael. He's into the wall, Felix Rosenquist spins. He'll slide back into traffic. He'll clip Kyle Kirkwood. Kirkwood goes upside down. Kirkwood slides around the outside retaining wall. Felix Rosenquist car at the exit of turn number two. Oh my goodness, what a horrible crash. As we saw the machine of Felix Rosenquist slide, Kyle Kirkwood caught him at the midway point, goes into the air. That car sets upside down to the exit of turn number two. Caution at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. 16 laps to go, a two-car incident here at the Indianapolis 500. Basically what happened is Newgarden him battling it out. Newgarden cut down in front of him like he normally would, actually. No, no big deal. Other than it took some air off of that car of, of uh, Rosenquist. He slid up, barely glanced that wall, but it was enough to damage the suspension. And he definitely, um, you know, spun around. We see Kyle Kirkwood in car. His shield actually popped up. One great thing about that safer bear. And, and uh, I mean, the, the safety screen, I should say, the aero screen, kept him safe in there. Sparks flying everywhere, but thank goodness that Kyle Kirkwood got out. And it looks like Rosenquist is all right, too. As Zach said, just some dirty air, slid up in the marbles a little bit, barely touched that wall. Yeah, the crews are starting to work. And as you would imagine, Mark Janes, there is a debris field that begins at the short chute and all the way through turn number two to the exit where Felix Rosenquist's car came to a rest. That's where that caution, or I should say that contact with he and Kyle Kirkwood took place. And there's about 15 to 20 people at the exit of turn number two working that portion of the track. And there's about 15 or 20 people at the midway point of turn number two number two carbon fiber everywhere it's going to be a while for this cleanup before we're able to go back to racing well Davey we wanted to get the details and the official announcement from IndyCar at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway before we address the issue with that accident in turn number two happy to report no reported injuries from a tire that landed in the turn two parking lot other debris from the incident did send one person to the infield care center who was seen and released. But again, that tire, uh, it, 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 did, it did go over the fencing, but we're happy to report that, uh, that the only thing was some debris from the incident sent one person to the infield care center. Don't want to minimize that. We just want to accentuate the positive and say that person was treated at release. Really, that was great news. And that tire going over the wall, obviously very scary. I and mean, we spent a lot of time. That's where we park our golf carts over in that little parking lot where that tire went. Um, and, and just so the, the, the listeners know and all the fans, we, we, did, we have tethers on these tires, and they usually don't do that. It just was a freak deal.